What's up, folks? So, uh, I have here today GoPro Hero 9, the case. Alright, the case that it comes with. Now, they did away with the, uh, you know, the classic way of doing things where they had like this glass, or not glass, but clear plastic box, right? Acrylic, whatever. Uh, and they had a little built in mount that came with that. Uh, actually, I have one right here that's stuck under my monitor. And I'm gonna destroy it, trying to pull it out. But yeah, they had this thing with a little acrylic box sitting on top of it. I can get that in focus. And they had this, like I said, this box just sat on top of it, right? And then you had your GoPro displayed in the thing. And this is, I just keep this because it's still cool for like, you know, setting on top of uh, desks or, you know, monitors, uh, whatever the case is. But, you know, just idle things. Anyway. So, this new way of, of uh, they, they include this hard shell case. I love it, right? Uh, it came with this little, uh, this little cardboard shell inside, right? But I took that out, I popped that out, and I'll show you what, I've, what I like to keep in here. Personally, uh, I have my spare batteries, my cord, my uh, fog inserts, and that's for my uh, little underwater housing. I like that. Then you have your float, your float grip, which you know you can use it as as you know little selfie stick, whatever. Normally, like you don't need to have it in water. Obviously, it's just floating there for when you do decide to take it out in the water and drop it boom it floats back up a little orange thing so it's easy to spot and you're good so that fits in there along with my GoPro Hero 7 which is still you know I still love this little thing um, they have the little lens you can pop off or move or place for when that breaks uh, then you got GoPro Hero 8, which I have in a sleeve, uh, and I have the little uh, protective screen thing, just because the Hero 8 did not have the feature where you could remove the lens and replace it and all that good stuff. So I, I do have some ad added uh, protection for that. Uh, 8 is where they also started this little flip thing, and if these break, you can replace them as well, but I mean, it's still better to not, you know break it but anyway uh, so you have your little lanyard here which I bought third party on Amazon uh, you can get GoPro brands for the same exact thing pretty much but I just like it it's cool um, and I like to go cheap so I went cheap but at least in certain areas right there's certain things that I will not go cheap with uh, for example these little adhesives that come with the GoPros, oftentimes if you buy like, uh, if you buy the GoPro straight brand new, right, it'll usually come with one or two of these little adhesives, right? Uh, my be best advice for these, if you want to stick them on something, you know, you take off the little strip, right? Take a little lighter, heat it up, heat it up real good to where you see the adhesive start to melt. You see it start to, just start to bubble. But I mean, if, if it's really bubbly, then you've gone too far. You've overdone it. But anyway, you heat it up, stick it on there for about, you know, 30 seconds, hold it tight, and that thing will not move. It will not come off. You stick it on your surfboard, you stick it on your, your ATV, stick it on your, uh, you know, whatever skateboards, uh, whatever you wanna, you wanna stick it on, and it is there for life. You stick it on your helmet, another cool thing they started doing they started making these curved ones right you got these curved ones for you know objects they're not necessarily flat your like I said your helmets uh, it's gonna be a little bit rounded a little bit curved so that's perfect for that uh, GoPro also started doing this thing uh, with the eight they started they started making these mounts right the the inserts historically especially if you bought third-party brands right like I said these are certain things that I won't go cheap on uh, historically you you pop them in right and just with uh, 
older ones, right? With the older ones, you would, uh, you'd be doing something, you know, crazy. And these things, you get a little bit of pressure on them, and they just pop right out. So, like I said, GoPro started doing this thing with the with the eight, and they still do it now. The little rubber rubber piece, it's so it will not accidentally pop out, right? It's like a little two-step uh, release. So you pop it in, pop the rubber piece down, it will not squeeze. You, you will not lose this thing. That is a two-step release. So step one, flip the rubber, and step two, squeeze and push. And it's out. Extra security, that, like I said, once this thing is on something and this thing is in there, you're, you're not losing your camera. Uh, now if you, you know, smash your camera, that's a different story, but at least you'll still have your footage. Um, then you have these little uh, torque screws, right? And I love these things too. You can buy these uh, third party and whatnot. These are way better than the originals, I think, personally, all right? Uh, these originals like they're they're fine there's nothing wrong with them they work but just the 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 feel of this thing and being able to really torque it down if you know if you need to uh, it just it's it's more satisfying I guess to feel like that's that's on there good right uh, also I gotta warn you not to over torque it if you don't have the the little the little flip piece right if that's not in here if it's not inserted in here right you over torque this thing and this piece is gonna snap so don't do that <laughs> anyway on to the hero 9 itself right so I get a little bit crazy with uh, with my GoPros I do tend to upgrade every year uh, historically I was I would upgrade and I would sell the previous model I would I upgraded to the so I started with a three right I upgraded to the four I sold the three I upgraded to the five I sold the four so on and so forth until I got to the seven and upgraded to the eight and I was like well I still love this seven man so I kept it then I upgraded to the nine and I'm like well I still love the eight too it's it's a you know the, the footage you get from this thing is beautiful and the stabilization is next to none I mean uh, well now I'm at the point where I have three GoPros I don't need three GoPros I'm probably gonna end up selling the 7 uh, here at some point I don't know I'm actually torn between the 7 and the 8 they're both amazing cameras uh, but now the 9 the 9 you get uh, you get some cool extra features. This thing here, it looks like a little uh, flippy door thing. It's not, right? You don't get anything out of that. That's ideally to help drain water, right? So you get your audio back a lot faster uh, when you take this thing in the water. Ideally, I mean, you know, but that's, that's its purpose. It's to drain water. Don't try to pull it off. Don't try to pop it out, anything like that. Uh, this. The door is your access for your battery, your SD card, and your charge, right? And I like that that feature they got there. You just uh, you know push it down to pop it out, or to lock it in, and push this down to pop it out, right? You just push it down, and it's open. Um, it was similar, but. You had to play with it a little bit more. <clears throat> anyway, uh, another nice little feature with the nine, right? You got the front screen. Everybody's talked about the front screen. I'm not gonna talk about the front screen. Uh, I did buy some uh, screen protectors for all three screens on my nine. Uh, you know, that's pretty nice. You do have the option again to remove and replace the lens. And you also have a lens mod now. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet. I'll probably get it here at some point uh, because a nice little feature that comes with the 9 is horizon lock and uh, you get that 
improved, like enhanced, I guess, with the with the mod. All right, so you pop this off, you pop on the mod, and uh, you know you'll you'll get uh, without without it being turned on, right? You'll have instances where this thing's mounted onto something and it's not quite level and your horizon is going to be angled right well with horizon lock no matter what angle you take you can rotate this thing full 360 rotate and that that horizon stays locked you're you're rotating right but the footage you get you won't even know it <clears throat> so that's a nice little feature there uh i am also thinking about getting some uh nd filters or nd lenses i guess in, in this case, in the case of the Hero 9, you get ND lenses. And same thing, pop it off, pop on the ND lens, uh, and you get you know different filters for different uh, lighting scenarios, or even your dive filter, which is great for you know diving. So uh, I like to, in, in some cases, I like to just keep my 9 in here, keep my eight seven keep my spare batteries depending on the scenario you know keep all my extra extra gear in, in my little box and as, as you started what i originally had in here at the start of the video i had this and all the extra accessories on the side or like i said depending on the scenario i can have this and just keep this you know like in my pocket or something keep this on hand uh you know literally on hand if i can catch the <laughs> the lanyard tighten that down and just have this you know but uh i will say be careful about what you have in here i have had it one time where uh i, I had it positioned funny i guess and um so i had this in here i had some other things pressing up against the power button or the record button i should say all right and I pull this thing out and it's warm, it's recording, and it recorded for like an hour, right? Uh, at some point, something pushed my record button. So now when I do have this in here in the case, I keep it faced up against that so it's not pressed up against something else that's gonna hit the record button. Right. But again, there's different options. I have two spare batteries for my nine. I have uh, extra spare batteries for my seven and eight but I actually have another spare battery somewhere else, but uh, I'm not gonna go looking for it for now. I don't really need it. It's a rare occasion that I bust out the seven and start using it. Mostly if I do use it, I'm letting my wife use it, honestly, or my son. Uh, but yeah, at any rate, seven, eight, and let's go ahead and take it back out of the case. And nine. I will say, if you're thinking about getting a GoPro, and you've probably heard this if you've looked into it at all, right? And you don't have one, go for the nine. Especially, I do like, and I don't use it often, but uh, that front camera can be convenient if you're doing things uh, like selfies and vlogging, if that's your thing, right? Uh, or I like, one of my personal favorite mounts is the wrist mount, right? And I like to face it towards myself if I'm doing something like climbing. Uh, or skydiving, you know, even, and, and you have it facing yourself. It's nice to have that front screen. You can frame your shots. You can tell that, you know, if, you're, if your forehead's not in the picture, whatever the case is. But uh, if you already have the eight, I would say, you know, with the eight, it's, you might as well stick with the eight. The, the image quality and the stabilization, it's, it's comparable. You know, I mean, the night the nine is slightly better. Of course, it's brand new. It should be, but it's not so much better that it's worth a four hundred dollar investment when you already have the eight. Um, you know, and that's bold words coming from somebody that has all three of these. But uh, like I said, I am thinking of selling the seven here soon to kind of cushion that that financial blow. <laughs> And uh, the eight, like I said, aside from this thing, this, this non-replaceable lens has gotten a lot of, uh, of flack, right? People did not like that at all. 
but um, other than that, like I really had no complaints about the eight. The stabilization, like I said, was next to none. It's it's like one of the best stabilizations. The only thing that that really makes this one stand out is that horizon lock. But other than that, like it's still pretty comparable. Um, now, if you have the seven, or if you don't have a GoPro at all, and you're thinking about, you know, like I said, go for the nine. You got the eight. It's it's a real tough toss up there, but uh, I did it. I don't regret it. So, you know, if if you can afford it, go for it. I'm not gonna try to rule your bank account, but you know, you do you, baller. <laughs> anyway, uh, so. That's the video for now. If you have, I don't know, questions, I guess, about any of these three, actually, hit me up in the comments, uh, and we'll go from there.